So, Mr. Pepper, are I carrying this right? Whoa, 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 Mr. Stewart. You should always, always, always put that down. You should always carry the microscope with one hand on its arm and one hand on its base. These microscopes are pretty heavy. They weigh about 10 to 15 pounds each, and they're quite expensive. So if you don't carry it properly, you can damage it. Okay, so I can just grab the microscope out of here, and then I put it down on the table. Actually, no. You want to be really careful when you carry these things. You definitely want one hand on its arm and one hand underneath supporting its base. You also never want to grab it by the revolving nose piece up top. So before we get into the ways not to use a microscope, let's introduce some of the parts of the microscope. As we mentioned before, as we were carrying it, this bottom part here is called the base, and it supports the entire microscope. This also is connected to the arm, which supports the eyepiece and the objective lenses. Other parts of the base include the light, light switch, which is right here, and the light adjuster knob, which regulates how much light power comes through the microscope. The light comes up from the bottom through this cylinder, which is called the condenser. You've also got the diaphragm here, which can adjust the amount of light hitting the specimen. It moves back and forth. Light again comes up through the objectives, which we'll come back to, and you look through the eyepiece here, which contains the ocular lens. This piece right here is called the revolving nose piece. It contains the objective lenses which actually magnify your object. When you want the objective lenses in place, they actually lock and click a little bit so they're able to view. We have four objective lenses on our microscope. The smallest one, which is right here, is a 4X lens and it's called the scanning lens. It helps you generally focus on your object. Next we have the low power lens, which is the 10X lens, the high power, which is the 40X, and the oil immersion lens, which is 100x and should only be used when your specimens are covered in oil. You'll learn how to properly use the microscope, but the basic principle is that you're going to put the slide in, locate a specimen, and then try to focus. So in order to put the specimen under the objective, you're going to have to use these small knobs, which are called the stage adjusters. After that, you're going to use these larger knobs that are on the side of the arm. First, the coarse focus which moves the entire stage up and down fairly rapidly. Once you're, after, once you're off the scanning objective and you move to either low power or high power, then do not use the coarse focus knob. You'll use the fine adjustment knob, which moves the stage up and down, but only by minute amounts. Mr. Pepper, I can't see anything. The microscope is completely dark. Are you sure the microscope is plugged in? One of the first things you always want to do is make sure that your microscope is actually plugged in. Most of our desks have these little plugs in them, unless you're Mr. Harris's room, to plug the microscopes in. Mr. Pepper, my, my microscope is plugged in, but I still can't see anything. It's completely dark. Well, you got to make sure that the light's turned on. This little switch turns it on and off, but it also, if you use this other switch, adjusts how much light is there. So you want to make sure not only is it turned on, but that it's all the way up. Oh. Uh. So, Mr. Pepper, my light's on, but there's still like this darkness that I can't really see anything. Sometimes this little piece called the diaphragm gets in the way. You actually need to make oh, sure no. you need to make sure that it's closed so that light can properly pass through the condenser. Mr. Pepper, I keep moving the uh, course adjustment knob up and down, but I still can't see anything. It's just all white. Well, th what's going on here is that the stage is actually all the way down. This should be all the way down when you first start, but you need to move the course adjustment knob way up so you can first find that object. Oh, it was all the way down. Okay. <sighs> Mr. Pepper, I still can't find my specimen. Where is it? Well, what's going on here is you're actually not starting in the scanning objective. You always want to make sure you start the scanning objective and bring it to the point where you can actually see something so that you can start looking at your object. Okay. I found my specimen under the scanning objective. Now I'm going to switch to the low power. Hey, it's all black. Well, 
One of the things you got to do when you switch between powers is you need to make sure that the next lens actually locks and clicks into place so that it's there. The second thing you need to make sure is that you don't just skip powers. You can't go from scanning all the way to high power. You have to go from scanning to low power and then high power, focusing on each one along the way. Okay. I'll do that. Okay. Let's go to high power. Oh no! I broke the slide! How did that happen? What happened is, the course focus knob actually moves the stage up and down. When you're on a high power objective, the lens gets too close to the slide and can crack either the slide or damage the objective lens. What you need to do on high or even low power is use just the fine focus knob for precise movement. Oh, just the fine focus on the high power and low power. And low power. Okay. Ugh, I can't see anything. Mr. Pepper, I'm trying to look at it this uh, really high powered lens, but it's all blurry. Well, you're not gonna see anything. The really high power lens is actually the oil immersion lens, and we really only use that when the specimens have oil on them. Most of the time in Honors Bio, we'll rarely, if ever, use this lens. Mr. Pepper, I switched it back from the oil immersion like you told me, but everything's still blurry. What's gone wrong? Sometimes, oil can actually get on the regular lens because it's been on the slide or somewhere else, and it actually makes the lens greasy. So what you can do is if there's oil on the lens and it looks blurry, you can gently wipe it with this piece of lens paper here, also known as a Kim wipe. Oh, so there was grease on the lens and it was blocking my view. Yep. Huh. Huh. I can see an object, but it just looks like a big dark mass. There's nothing really specific. I can't see anything that looks like a cell. Let me take a look. Oh, this is a typical one. Sometimes we cut specimens, we cut them too thick, and light can't pass through them. So when you want to cut a specimen, you want to make sure it's really, really thin, you take a very thin slice. That way light can pass through and we can see all the details of the cell.